the Grand Power Strybog SP9A3 Redemption. Let's check it out. Guys, I'm a big fan of the Grand Power Strebog. Uh, it's a 9mm blowback action. It's a pistol with a brace. Uh, it's just a fun shooting gun to get out, 30 round magazine. And we started out with the SP9A1 Gen 1. We did a review on the Gen 2. And then we did a review on the SP9A3, which is a delayed roller lock bolt. Definitely changed the recoil impulse and actually made it softer shooting easier to shoot, especially on the cheek. Uh, most of the action is typically up front, whereas with the SP9A3, which was a typical blowback, it's more toward the back of the firearm. And so to me, it just had less muzzle rise. Real easy to shoot. Now, it doesn't quite shoot as soft as the MP5, or in fact, we have a Zenith ZPK. It's a licensed HK clone. And it definitely shoots softer, but it's also a lot more expensive. And that's one of the things about the Grand Power that has been very attractive, is the prices come in fairly low. Now with the SP9A3, they did bump it up. These run about $1,000. One of the things that we have done is, again, we've shot about 5,000 rounds through these firearms. And they've just, for us, been super reliable. Now, with that being said, there have been a lot of issues, especially with the magazines. Uh, one thing they did with a big upgrade is they changed the magazine to a steel reinforced feed lip. That seemed to help. And then they changed the followers. But I've seen some issues with the original mags. We didn't experience that. We just didn't. But a lot of times the rounds would get jammed up and they would fall out. There wasn't enough tension on the magazines. So Grand Power addressed it. Also with the bolt, with the A3. Uh, some of the, they were having a few issues with the bolt, shooting it extensively. There were some wear that just really shouldn't have been there. And so Grand Power has offered a exchange for a bolt. And so what we decided to do, we've seen a lot of things about this firearm that have been somewhat negative. And, you know, we all have different experiences. And again, I've seen those valid experiences. So I got in touch with Nate over at Guns on Deals. And I said, Nate, I've really enjoyed this tree bug. I, I've really had great success with it. We've had no reliability issues, but we have seen some things. And so we would like to do a redemption video. I'd like for you to send me the bolt, the new upgraded bolt, send me the new mag followers that are black. Uh, and of course, we already had some of the steel feed lips on the magazines. And so he got in touch with Global Ordnance, who imports these from Grand Power. And so they also sent 2,000 rounds of ammunition for us to run through this. Now, one of the things, though, about the Strebog is with the magazine. When you're loading the magazine, uh, you know, that first 20 rounds, you can do it without too much trouble. When you get to those last 10, you know, it's a little bit tough because this magazine spring has been upgraded. And it's one of the things that makes this more reliable. It's part of the upgrade. Uh, and so that's really the only thing about this gun so far that I've had any kind of issues with. Now, I'm a big fan of the CZ Evo 3 and you know it's an all polymer body and that's one of the things though that i really like about the strebog a little more compact it's an aluminum extruded top that you know just gives it to me more durability and you know there's a lot of different preferences out there but to me the strebog has been one of my favorites guys we're going to pull the bolt we're going to take a look at the differences between it and the new upgraded bolt uh, also, we've changed out the black followers on the magazines. But guys, if you have an SP9A3 and you're having any kind of issues or any kind of excessive wear on the bolt, uh, they will send you a replacement bolt at no cost. And so they're definitely trying to do what's right. And uh, you can go to the Global Ordnance website. 
I'd love to put a link down there, but I can't, but you can go to Global Ordnance and they'll give you the form to fill out. It's really simple. Now, full disclosure, guys, because it's really important that this test is viable. Global Ordnance sent 2,000 rounds of ammunition and they sent three extra magazines and the black followers to replace the orange followers I had in the other magazines. Also, the bolt and as well, so I could install it. But otherwise, they're not paying me to do this. In fact, I contacted them wanting to do this video. And so there's no payment. Uh, I'm not beholden to Global Ordnance. And whatever we find out, that's what we're going to report. The big thing is, guys, is I have talked a lot and supported the SP9A3 and A1. Uh, I really like those firearms. But if there are issues out there and if there are problems, we want to address that as well, mainly because I have talked quite a bit about the Street Bog and how much I like it, and it's important for you guys to know how things are. All right, guys, we have the new bolt. We're going to install this. Uh, this is the roller lock type action. And so um, we're going to take a look at the original bolt to see if there's any issues there. And then we're going to replace... Uh, the followers and the original upgraded followers were the orange and now they have these black followers in fact here i have three magazines with the followers already installed and then we're going to install these into the orange ones and one thing you can say about the streetbog bolts is they are beefy and again these are designed as full auto machine guns so very heavy mass bolt and here you see this one is marked us now first thing we want to do is just push this pin through it is pretty tight so we're going to use a punch to get it through. It is captured, so it's going to retain it over here, and then we just pull down our action. Now you don't have to necessarily remove the front pin, but we're going to go ahead and push it through just to make it easier. Now the receiver cap at the end, we're going to just push it down, and then it pulls out just like that. Go ahead and bring back the charging handle. We're going to pull out our recoil spring and buffer. Go ahead and remove the charging handle. And then let the bolt just come right out. Now we have the upgraded bolt at the bottom. Again, it is marked US and it's marked on both sides. Uh, here we just have a plain surface. Uh, one of the big things I've noticed up front is this section right here is a lot thicker on the original. And they've trimmed that down considerably with the new bolt. Uh, there are pins that are here that are staked through, and then they're not present on the new bolt system. And really, it gives a lot more surface to this area down here with this relieved up into a smaller area. Uh, also, it just looks like the finish is a lot better on the new bolt. Now, with the new bolt on the right, there are some changes even to the rear profile. Uh, you can see there's an extra hole that's added right here, and then uh, there's a step Looks like this is two pieces and this is just one piece. There's a hole right here on the front. This is the new one. Uh, and then you can see again, this step has been relieved. Uh, it looks like um, really not a whole lot of differences, but definitely something that they felt like needed to be changed. One thing that was about the old bolt, and we have a little bit of some wear here, but there's no wear on the front face of the bolt. And I think that was where they were getting some issues. Uh, we just don't seem to have it. Guys, honestly, even with this bolt installed, we have had really good success with the Streebog. So let's go ahead and enter the new bolt system into the SP9A3. Once you get this hole aligned up with this little area, go ahead and bring in your charging handle, pull it out a little bit, and then pull it forward. And the bolt will close right behind it. Go ahead and reinstall your recoil spring and buffer. Then we're going to bring our end cap with our brace, bring it and lift it up. Now we're going to bring in our lower receiver. Just get those pins popped in. All right, guys, and you're done. Really easy. Obviously, if you clean and field strip, uh, there's no difference. You just replace the bolt. I'm not going to demonstrate the follower change. All you got to do is push this out, pull it out, and just change your follower. Uh, very easy to do. Now guys, you can send your firearm back for repair, or they'll just send you the bolt and you can replace it. And guys, it's super easy to do. Now these are the thousand round packs that Global Ordnance sent. It's Bellum. It's a thousand rounds, and I have two of these. And then these are made in Serbia. And 
just full metal jacket, 124 grain, very clean ammunition. So I'm um, looking forward to getting this out to the range. So we loaded up, we had six magazines, we took it out to the range, we had the Bellum ammunition, again, a big thanks to Global Ordnance. You know how ammunition is pretty valuable these days. Uh, and by the way, you can go to Gun Zone Deals and typically find the Bellum 9mm for about 67 cents a round. So it's much cheaper than a lot that I've seen where it's going for $50 a box. So it gives you a little better price. So check out Gun Zone Deals. We also appreciate Gun Zone Deals for sending these originally because it really gave us a chance to experience it and to go through this process. So guys, we just headed out to the range. And so we're gonna go through and just show you the shooting. And um, guys, it was a lot. I mean, a thousand rounds, you can do it pretty quickly. But when you get to those 2000 rounds, your finger starts to get really tired. But guys, we were determined to find out, you know, just how well this firearm shoots. All right, we got 2000 rounds of ammunition. And this is Bellum. Again, we really appreciate Global Ordnance for sending this. Um, they're in thousand round tens. Man, this is a beautiful sight right now. But uh, we're going to shoot it through the Strebog. And we have six mags lined up. And of course, we have the SP9A3 with the bolt switched out. And so, um, looking forward to seeing what this does. Really, I'd like for little loaders to come out with a loader for the Strebog. These mags are a little difficult, especially when you get up to the top to load. Now we're going to start out with our first magazine. Go ahead and see how this runs. All right, good to go. Get hot.
All right, that was the last mag. We're all done. So guys, while we shot all 2,000 rounds without any malfunction, after about 1,100 rounds here on video, it was just going to make the video way too long. Guys, with the 2,000 rounds, it was just super reliable. So guys, after 2,000 rounds of shooting uh, with the upgrades, with the upgraded magazines, we had zero malfunctions uh, with the magazines. Loading them, uh, we didn't have any, mag any bullets or any of uh, the cartridges binding up in the magazine. It seemed to just be very smooth. Uh, we didn't again have any issues whatsoever. Now we did take some of the standard magazines and we wanted to shoot a few rounds through it just to see how it would function even though those magazines have had some issues in the past. And we shot 60 rounds through it. I had one malfunction uh, and that's with the old magazine. So if you get the upgraded magazines and then you go with the upgraded bolt, I mean you're really going to set this right. Guys, with the roller lock bolt system, it definitely takes the recoil down quite a bit from the standard SP9A1. And honestly, it's much better than the CZ Evo 3. Uh, that heavy mass bolt coming back, it's nice to be able to have that efficient enough to be able to keep that muzzle rise down. And so we really enjoyed shooting it. Now it shoots a little different. It shoots from the front. You can feel the recoil more in the front than you can toward the back. And yet it doesn't have that muzzle rise that the SP9A1 has. Uh, one thing that we noticed about the SP9A1 is here on this wire stock, which this is one of the Grand Power PDW collapsible braces yeah, with a gearhead tailworks hook. Uh, this really with the SP9A1, it seems to jar right here. With the SP9A3, it was much softer. Again, most of your actions kind of up front, you can just feel the bolt and it bouncing back. But again, it keeps the muzzle down uh, and keeps it more in line than the SP9A1. Now, I talked to the guys at Global Ordnance and they said, honestly, they've had only a few of these returned. It's really a low number, but a lot of people are still going ahead and taking advantage of having that bolt changed out. And honestly, I'd recommend you do that. You don't really want to take chances when you're relying on a firearm and you really want it to run right when you're at the range uh, with the excessive wear as well. But Guys, again, they're not really getting a lot of returns. Nate at Guns Own Deals, same thing. He said he's had very few returns. And a lot of those are just people that are concerned. And honestly, from what I've seen, there have been a few issues. There have been some things. Global Ordnance acknowledges that. But guys, you really need to get the upgraded parts to make sure that your gun runs right. You'll be happy. Global Ordnance will be happy. And Nate at Guns Own Deals will be happy. And I'll be happy. So guys, overall, making the changes, I'm very pleased with the firearm. Uh, we, again, we're not having any issues now, but at least it gives me a lot more confidence knowing that whatever possible things, you know, that could have gone wrong are now fixed. And it's really nice that Global Ordnance is responsive and Grand Power is making the changes that are needed. And again, the changes only apply to the SP9A3 and not the SP9A1. As far as price goes, the SP9A3 is going for $9.99 on the Gun Zone Deals website. Uh, typically, their SP9A1s are going for around $7.99 and up. Uh, so they're still at that lower price. Um, and a lot of people are choosing the SP9A1 for various reasons. I mean, it is more, less expensive. And there have been a lot of people that have had really good results, even with the original mags, which we have. But even at $9.99, it's one of the cheapest little pistol caliber carbine pistols out on the market, what I like to call the PDW. So, you know, there's a lot of choices out there for these type firearms. And guys, you need to make a choice for yourself, whatever your preferences are, what you like. Uh, because guys, the sky's the limit. There's a ton of different things out there. But honestly, as far as the Grand Power Strebog SP9A3, I love it. Uh, we've had great success with it. And I'm expecting for it to continue to shoot well. And if it doesn't, we'll bring that to you. And I really appreciate Sarah Mac for being a trooper and uh, going through all 2,000 rounds. And uh, man, we were worn out by the time this was over. And again, I want to thank Nate over at Gun Zone Deals for sending this and setting this up with Global Ordnance. Uh, again, I was really curious myself and had some concerns. But guys, after 2,000 rounds without one malfunction, with the upgrades and the upgraded magazine, this little PDW is ready to go. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. This deal's a 
full of fun. Grand Power Strybog, yeah. which is a roller lock, which is a roller lock, which is a delayed roller lock. They also sent some extra magazine. Shoot. Whoops. Whoops. Go ahead and remove our pin. The bullet. Oh, step up just a touch. There you go. Start to get hot. <laughs> 